In those days, there was no king in Israel. Everyone did what was right in their own eyes. Good Thursday morning. The very last verse in Judges says the exact same thing as this verse. The very fact that this verse is repeated with perfect precision, it indicates there's a point to be made. The simplest description of the days of the Judges. Everyone did what was right in their own eyes. Instead of looking to God as the ruler and king, the people looked to themselves as their own king. In those days, there was no king in Israel. Everyone did what was right in their own eyes. The more you repeat it, the more ominous it sounds. God's intention was that his people would be ruled by him as their king. They would look to him as king and they would follow and obey and worship and honor him as king. They, they shouldn't need a king like the nations around them because God Almighty was their king. The problem, as the book of Judges reveals, is they didn't look to God and everyone chose to do what was right in their own eyes. And the results were devastating. As we read through the book of Judges, it reads like a horror story. It's horrifying what happens when people do what is right in their own eyes instead of what is right in the eyes of God the King. We have a presidential election coming up in November. And while the United States president is not a king, scripture does admonish us to pray for our leaders. Today is the national day of prayer here in the United States. And while we have no king, let us pray that God would help us to live according to what is right in his eyes, not in our eyes. In those days, everyone did what was right in his own eyes. This is not a new concept. It's as old as Adam and Eve who chose to live according to what seemed right to them. But that went contrary to what God had said was right. On this National Day of Prayer, let us pray prayers of repentance for any and every way where we are prone to live according to what is right in our own eyes. Lord, we pray for your mercy upon the United States of America. We pray for our leaders. Help them to focus on what is right in your eyes, not our eyes. God, we see here in the book of Judges the horrifying effects of sin and disobedience to you and rebellion against you and a rebellion against what you say is right. We see that clear back to Adam and Eve that from one sin came condemnation for all humanity and the horrifying effects of sin all around us. Lord, forgive us, we pray. We repent and we turn from every evil way. God, we're prone to speak and think and desire and live according to what is right in our own eyes. Forgive us. Help us to lay down what we think is right and look to your word to learn what is right and to live according to what is right in your eyes. God, we pray that personally, and we pray that for the United States of America. We pray that you would help us to focus on what is right in your eyes and that doing so would bring spiritual awakening to this country, that you would save us from ourselves. God, we know that left to ourselves, we will inevitably do what is right in our own eyes, and that leads to death. It leads to all kinds of horrifying effects in our lives and the lives of the people around us. Lord, save us from ourselves and help us to do what is right in your eyes. We praise you as King, and we look to you as our King, and we pray that you would help us to honor and follow and obey and worship you as our King. In Jesus' holy name we ask, amen. God bless you. Today's the National Day of Prayer, and here in Giddings, Texas, we're meeting at noon in Veterans Park.